the very fifth episode of Prince of the Dead. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at the zombie. Mm -hmm. um, it needs some health <laughs> if you're going to punch it. Yeah. It, it is. Is not. It. It is undead after all. Yeah. Exactly. Which means it's living somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's undead. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's yeah. not dead. So that's true. so it, we need some more details about the the zombie. Mm -hmm. So I wanna I wanna look at another one. Let's see, cheats, dom structure, and let's this time I want the biker. Okay, so okay. it's the biker so and the it has biker. health, and it should probably have like a max health. Yeah, because we need to know or for yeah. We need to know what's the full potential. Yeah. And then what's the current state? Current state is eight. Yeah. It has all its hearts. Mm -hmm. So and uh, then, yeah. And so that's obviously nothing's going to happen here because we're not using that information in the UI. That's but true. But I'm also... Okay. So what will... The UI will... Let's take a look at the DOM structure. What are we drawing so we are going to draw some B health mm -hmm. and then individual hearts. And it says split above six with BR. So basically we want rows of six hearts. We want rows of six hearts. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. So we want to split it. And if there's eight current max health, we probably want to split it at four. Right. So it looks balanced. Yeah. Okay. So this... <clears throat> Should we just try without the balance first? So we can like see how, why sure, it should sure. be split. Okay, just spit it out there. Yeah, so the, the thing is, um, we want the client to be as dumb as possible. Mm -hmm. So we don't want it to just add uh, the health here. Or we want to change the health to the things that thing that is being rendered. Yeah. The hearts. Yeah. So I think we're going to need a test. In the actionizer. Yeah, and we don't need that one you added there. No, <laughs> certainly not. So if you put some health in here, then mm -hmm. the result that goes to the client will look different, I think. Mm -hmm. So there's a max. And let's let's just do four here at this point. Yeah. And current is four. Mm -hmm. And then I would hope to see something else. Maybe this is called hearts. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then we have like a heart four times. Yeah, just four hearts. Almost. So this means that the client doesn't have to do arithmetic. Yeah, any right? yeah. logic at all. No, it's just here's some data. Please render it for us. Mm -hmm. so, and uh, this test obviously doesn't work. Nope. Or it works, but it doesn't pass. Mm -hmm. So it's getting quite wide now. Um, what do you think about this? I am willing to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, maybe like prepare zombie or render zombie or something? Yeah, I'm going to do this cuz I this is, will have a list of all our events or actions. Yeah, but you okay, yeah, it's fine. I just I thought render zombie might be useful in other things than add zombie, but, but we I'm, can do both. We can do both. We can do both. So we'll pass in the event, mm -hmm. and then I'll create uh, add zombie. Just I, I want this list to just be very easy to look up in. Okay, I understand. So here's our event, and here's this, and then here. Why is... don't you pass in the zombie instead of this? <laughs> that was what I meant to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then I can do prepare zombie. Okay. That, yeah. Okay. So now I will. Um, so you don't really care about the ID either. You only really care about the kind. Your test says I care about it. It's certainly true. So but let's, we don't need it. We don't need it. No. Um, so we only need hearts. We need the kind, obviously. Yeah, maybe the test should test that. The test is a little bit underspecified. Mm. So it needs to be a biker. Yep. And then. You want the kind to be biker. Yep. Nice. Still failing. Okay. So we'll do kind, kind zombie. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do health. Hearts. No, hearts. Which will. And then I'll just do repeat, um, repeat heart, and then 
Max. Yeah, the N is first. Zombie. Hmm? The N is first. The N is first. So mm -hmm. I'll do this end. Mm -hmm. And then we have zombie, health. Current. Current. Excellent. And that test passes. So now I can write you another one. Mm -hmm. Not pass. Okay. Uh, I'm. Yeah, I can. I can. So if it, if it only has three, mm -hmm. then the last one will be lost. Uh huh. And that certainly does not happen at this point. Oh, that's true. So this is the arithmetic, and these are the tests that we are sort of more happy to do on the server. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to do this sort of uh, repeat and testing and arithmetic in the client code, and certainly not in the components. No. No. So now I have to think, and that's a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> so we have current, and, and we're actually happy about this. There is, we can take a quick look at this, and you can see that there are, the last is just missing. We have three hearts. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's excellent. So, so you we can, maybe you can just concat, concat, concat right? Yeah, we can concat. So first you do those, and then you can figure out how many you are missing, and yeah. you can refill them. Or yeah. not refill them, but mark them as lost. Mark as lost. So I will do uh, the minus here, I think, yeah. and we'll then there's a max. Max. Yeah. max minus current is lost. I think that would be right. Yeah, yeah. so it's green. I think I'm happy to try and display this in the UI now. Yeah, sure. Because uh, let's uh, take a look at what we're getting. We can use a gadget for that. And here are lots of hearts. So at this point, do we have components? No. No. So let's that's another that. thing. The, the client just has everything in one file. So we can... The components are going to change uh, separately from the machinery here. Yeah, certainly. Be good to pick them apart. So I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to borrow this one. Let's do require. You could also use add missing at this point, but yeah. yeah, true. Here we go. And then just require that one. You want to save the components first? Mm -hmm, I have. Okay. Uh, as components. And then we can do... Oh, I, I removed the, the render function. Does this... Oh, it's... It, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit confused. Okay, as components. Mm -hmm. And then we will do um, components page. Like this? Yeah. And then eventually the... Yeah, perfect. Eventually our lovely main will be left untouched for yeah. most of the time. Yeah. So now it's time for the DOM structure cheat sheet. And there's zombie health mm -hmm. uh, here inside of zombie. Zombie health. And it should have hearts. So for heart in hearts. Mm -hmm. In the zombie, I'm going to render a div dot heart. And <laughs> immediately now we see why a BR would be good, but. Yeah, it does look kind of silly. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit silly. But at least at least we have some hearts. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you go to the server and you take a heart from him, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because uh, we haven't implemented the last yet. No. So it should be in the game and we can do current only six. Yep. And then evaluate, evaluate, reload. Refresh, and then... Oh, wow. What happened? <laughs> It was uh, the Chrome cache. Aha, mm -hmm. the lovely Chrome cache. It actually still has eight full hearts, mm -hmm. and that's because I haven't added the class name. No. So we, which is just the class name, right? Mm -hmm. Like this. Oh, it faded out and everything. Uh, very nice. Pretty nice. So now uh, I would like for us to render them a little bit more orderly. Agreed. Yeah. Let's balance the hearts. Yeah. So we have the actionizer test, and we have four, which was uh, cleverly chosen, but <laughs> realize you now that this should actually be a uh, like yes, this. Because you want multiple lines of hearts. Yeah. So I'm just going to, uh, we, we can fix these tests first. Yeah, sure. And then we also have to fix the UI, of course. But yeah. So the hearts will just be, look like that. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'll go over to the components mm -hmm. and I will say for, for line for line yeah. and then for heart line yeah and yeah excellent and that should be it still a little, still works mm -hmm. so uh, then I'll write another test where we have some more hearts yeah let's try the eight so I'll say we have eight and max is eight, mm -hmm. and then there should be two of those. Very nice. There are not. Okay. So do I what do I do now? Um rendering these hearts is hmm. I want I want these are all the hearts I want to render. I just want to balance them. Balance hearts. Yeah, but not with the vector. Yeah, I, th I, uh, I think not with, uh, yeah, yeah, without yeah. this one. Because the balancing will create that outer yeah. collection. So these are all the hearts. Mm -hmm. And I want to know how many are there because I want to figure out how many lines. Yeah. Um, so I guess I will, uh, number of lines should be, in my estimation, the count of hearts. Divided by six, mm -hmm. rounded up. Is there a seal? No. Uh, it's math seal. Apparently, yeah, math math seal. Yeah. So yeah. now we have the number of lines, mm -hmm. and then we want to we want to partition you it. Partition. Somehow. Yeah. Parti you want to use partition all because P you might not have enough hearts for every line. That's true. So, so we want to partition it into the number of hearts divided by the number of lines. <laughs> yes, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. So uh, we can let's introduce a let here. Um, no, let's <laughs> move to let here. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to count it many times because that would be suboptimal. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay, that yeah. might have been premature. Yeah, but it's it's annoying to yeah yeah. What in the world happened? Heart count, heart oh, count. Oh no, there's something wrong in the neighborhood. Heart count. Who gonna call? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hearts. I think this is it. Very um, nice. It's green. Was that it? That was it. Huh. Let's try nine. What happens with nine? And I will do current eight. Because yeah. do I expect there to be five and then four? Maybe? I'm not sure. I but think it will be, yeah. Five and four. Maybe we don't need both of these tests done because no. they're both green. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Reload. Didn't work. Didn't work. Um, why not? I know why. Tell me. Uh, actually, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought maybe you hadn't evaluated this, but then the tests would not have worked. So um, maybe okay. there is. Maybe there is, in fact, not. You need another div. You need another div. Oh, cool. In the component. Yeah, we're still just rendering them basically into a list. So yeah. Don't it, need it. It's we said don't in the dump structure, use a br. Yeah, but you don't really need that. Just do a div. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just put a block element, basically. Yeah. In yeah. Thing. yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Quite nice. Excellent. That's what I call episode five. Five. So. I feel like we're actually getting somewhere. We're writing code, writing tests, everything is yeah. pretty nice at this point. Pretty nice. Thanks for watching. Thanks for or uh episode five. Five. Thanks for watching. Uh bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>